Yeah. Wait, are you serious? You can't catch a pop fly. You cannot catch a pop fly in the infield. The inning should have been over, and you can't catch a pop fly. What is wrong with you, Crunchy? As you guys can see, Robbie is uh, clearly watching a baseball game. Uh, like, wh- what? Like, wa- like, watch this. Like, watch this replay and tell me how in the world he did not catch it. Look, it's an easy pop fly, right? The inning mm-hmm. should be over. There's two outs, or they're going to stand a runner at third. Oh, nope, never mind. Cause Wait, no, seriously, how did he not catch that? What, what the, are you kidding me? What the hell? Oh, I didn't see it all the way. Jeez, yeah. I mean, you could you could just, like, back up a little bit or, like, reap it. Welcome to another edition of On a Couch Talking Sports. As always, I'm Robbie. This is Kyle. Kyle, how are you tonight, buddy? Doing okay. Doing okay. Uh, um, just fun fact, uh, Robbie and I, I realized we're uh, we're actually twinning right now. See, we have the same yeah. shorts know, yeah. right here. We, same shorts. Yeah, and same color shirt. Like, same, yeah. I know. it's it's. <laughs> we didn't plan this, folks. We didn't plan this. This is just what it has come to. <laughs> and we, we literally... And we literally ordered the same exact thing for dinner. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even kidding. We split. So here, here's the thing. We went to so this. Cheesy. We went to <laughs> Frank Pepe's Pizza in Chestnut Hill. By the way, if you've never been to Frank Pepe's, you really should go. Even that, the ones in, obviously, in Connecticut and Mohegan Sun, they're all amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's so good. But, so Kyle and I split a bacon pizza, and then we both got Caesar salads, and we both got waters to drink. So, like, Keep literally, I mean, it was it was classic, classic twinning. Or as Charlie Sheen would probably put it, twinning. Uh, twinning. <laughs> nailed it. Um, but anyway, it is time for another episode. And uh, glad to hear you're doing well, as am I, uh, on this beautiful summer eve. By the way, happy Independence Day to everybody out there. hope everybody had a great... Uh, July 4th holiday, long weekend. Nice excuse for a long weekend. Yeah, hope you guys saw um, some fireworks too and, you know, even I know yourself I, to the beach. <laughs> I know I did. I definitely saw some fireworks, so that was fun. Um, good to see them, like, actually some in-person fireworks for the first time since 2019. So nice. I was very, very nice. happy about that. But um, what I was going to say is uh, it is time for another episode, and we are very excited before we begin tonight's episode, that tonight's episode is sponsored, as always, by Wes Woodson and Zyman Organizing, uh, two great, great entities, and one, one's a person, one's an entity, I guess, if you really want to call it that, um, both just great and, and big fans of the show, and uh, just, as always, really, really appreciate their support and their sponsorship, not just for this show, but for Marvel at the Movies and the Sports Blitz as well. So, Marvel at the Movies, we're going to come out with an episode pretty soon. Just don't tell anyone I said that, okay? Yeah, we had, and we had a new Sports Blitz just recently, and we're going to have another one in the very near future, so okay. don't tell anybody. Okay, secret save for me. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Nice. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, big thank you to them for sponsoring tonight's episode. Speaking of tonight's episode, this is going to be a bit of a teaser hype episode. Yeah, get the people going. Like, yeah, get the people going. Go. Just get the people going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bonus points for anybody besides Kyle who can uh, who can name in the comments what I just referenced, what song that just referenced, or movie. It really wasn't from a movie, but then it was put into a song. Kind of winning. Um, anyway, uh, so for our next episode following this episode, Kyle and I are going to be making our annual pilgrimage down to go. No, not 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 Plymouth Plantation. I don't nope, want you guys to. No, not going to Plymouth Plantation. No, nope, not going there. Uh, we're going to go kind of kind of past there because it's kind of like on the way. Yeah, but. We're going to be going to Cape Cod. 
Yeah, we're go we're going back this summer. You know, we went last summer and had a great time and gonna be making a return trip and we are very excited because we always enjoy our annual trips to the good old Cape Cod and uh much is the case this year and uh just very excited uh to be heading back there. So mm -hmm. Kyle, uh, I guess let's sort of jump right into uh, just thoughts about the upcoming trip. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most uh, when it comes to our uh, trip down there coming up in just a, a week or two? Hmm. Well, I, I always look forward, forward to the games that we go to. Um, but I think the most, though, like, I, I just, it's it's really hard to pick. Like, I, I kind of just like the whole experience you know, overall, I, I like everything, I like how everything kind of connects, and, you know, we really turned this into, like, a big, like, kind of, like, activities and sports of Palooza weekend, if you will, and, um, but I think, I think, actually, my ultimate favorite will probably be our, um, trip to Falmouth that we're actually going to go, go to on Sunday, because I, I actually went to Falmouth before, like, a long time ago, so it'd be really been, nice. So I'm looking oh. forward to it. Yeah, it'd be really nice to go back and just kind of see what it's like now, and, you know, especially with your first time going there, it's yeah. like, I think it'll be a really kind of new and fresh exper experience in a lot of ways for both of us, so yeah. it'll be, it'll be cool. I'm, I'm really excited. No, I am as well, and, I mean, obviously, when you think about our Cape trips to the past, obviously sports is involved, whether it be mini golfing, which is definitely on the on the table bowling which mm -hmm. is also going to be on the table for us and i mean the pace de resistance uh the cape cod baseball league which oh, yeah. we are currently planning on attending a cape cod league game um our plan is to try is to go saturday evening uh the, the saturday evening that we're down there to see the good old yarmouth dennis red sox in action uh, a team we've actually not seen in quite a few years. I um, can't mm -hmm. remember the last time we were in YD like for a game. 2013 about? 2013, 2013, 14. Or 14. Yeah, yeah, around there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's been a while. Because a lot of times, like in the past few years, we've been going to either Katua or Hyannis. Or mm -hmm. I think we went to like one all-star game somewhere in like Wareham or something like that. Oh yeah, it was it, it was <clears throat> either in well where I think it was actually Wareham. Wareham, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for the most part you kinda usually go to either Katoot or Hyannis and we usually end up over yeah. in one of those two. <laughs> but um yeah, I'm just I'm just super excited. It's it's always a fun time when we make the trip down there and getting to sort of see see what's good on the Cape and uh mm -hmm. Just can't wait, as always. I mean, it's it's going to be fun, and we're definitely going to be doing a Cape Cod episode, like I said, because it's our next episode. That's what we're teasing right now. I don't know why I just like <laughs> prefaced it like that, because you know if you watch the beginning of this episode that we're going to be doing a Cape episode, because that's, that's what we're hyping up in this episode. So, yeah. anyway, um, but yeah, our next episode will be on the Cape and it will be a great time, and I just simply cannot wait for it. So, uh, Kyle, you got anything else? No, uh, I mean, I, on the subject, I'm the same. I'm I'm excited. We'll, we'll see what happens, and we'll uh, we'll definitely uh, yeah report back to you guys when, once we get that episode all started. So, can't yeah. wait, cannot wait. Let's go. It's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing <laughs> time. Cannot wait to tell you all about it when we see you next. Um, so. Uh, that's sort of the first half of tonight's episode, and now we are going to move on to our favorite end portions, being, uh, Robbie's final thoughts and the Sue's reviews. I will start tonight with my final thoughts. Uh, my final thought, which I kind of was sort of handed my final thought by, myse by myself in a sense, because I... <laughs> was not quite sure what I was going to do my final thought on until this happened, but when we were actually getting our um, pre-show dessert, pre-show <laughs> ice cream at good old White Mountain Creamery over by BC, shout out White Mountain Creamery, big fans as always, um, we actually saw a Boston sports figure, no, not David Ortiz, um, we saw John... Tom Brady? No. 
too soon. Too soon. Um, we saw Jonathan Kraft, who, for those of you who don't know, is the son of Patriots owner Bob Kraft, and I believe he's the either the president or the vice president of the Patriots, and he was at Why Not Creamery getting some ice cream, um, and we were. <laughs> Obviously, it's very exciting when you see a figure. Obviously, you know we we sort of let him have you know let him have his ice cream. Didn't really bother didn't bother him or anything like yeah. that. We just kind of gawked from afar. <laughs> um, but it was it was really cool to see him. This is actually the second time I've seen him at White Mountain Creamery. Oh, nice. Um, so obviously, he is a uh, you know a wise man in the terms that he likes White Mountain Creamery ice cream. Because who doesn't? <laughs> He has good taste. Yeah, he has great taste. So, uh, you go, Jonathan Kraft. But yeah, that was kind of my, the final thought that I sort of settled on uh, for tonight's episode. So, just nice. wanted to sort of pass that along. Um, yeah, definitely go to White Mountain Creamery for your ice cream. And who knows, if you go there, you may run into Jonathan Kraft. Or you maybe know. some other famous <laughs> Yeah, somebody sports, else. You never just, know. You, you never know who you're going to bump around. Or us. You may bump into us when you're there. You know, well, you yeah, we're know. famous, right? In our own to, minds. A, to a certain degree, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that is my final thought for this evening. So now I would love to uh, turn it over to my good friend here, Kyle, for another edition of the Sous Reviews. Kyle, what do you got? So I got this um, very interesting horror thriller, if you will, called The Black Phone. And so this is a movie that was in development for a while. It was actually supposed to come out last year, I believe. I remember like literally seeing the preview at some point, either last, maybe even like a year and a half ago or so. Like that's how long this movie has been in development. But they just, you know, they just could never find the right time to release it, I guess, you know, in the past. So they finally released it this summer. And I got to say, you know, um, it's directed by Scott Derrickson. He's done movies like... Um, um, the haunting i think it was like the oh the uh, sorry the the exorcism of emily rose which was kind of a it was like it was like a horror slash courtroom drama type of movie so it was very interesting in that right and he did this other movie called sinister which was a very creepy movie that was probably his creepiest movie i think that he's ever done this movie black phone it's not quite as creepy I would say as those two movies. Um, oh, and he also directed Doctor Strange for any comic book fans out there. He direct, he directed the very first Doctor Strange movie. Um, so he's definitely dabbled in dabbled in and out of the weird and kind of wacky stuff there. But um, he's mainly known for like being a horror director. Um, and this one did have horror elements in it. But I actually thought really beneath all that, it, it was a very you know, it, it was a really taut thriller. It, they, they did a great job at kind of building the suspense. But at the same time, it had a really great, just a story altogether and a really great message that I really appreciated. And so basically, um, so uh, the movie stars Ethan Hawke. So Ethan Hawke plays this really creepy guy called the grabber i know it's a weird name <laughs> but and it gets even and it's even weirder because he um you know he's been he's been known for abducting kids like basically like these teenagers around this the neighborhood and um eventually he abducts the um so so like he he abducts one of the kids who you who the movie is mainly following so the movie actually does follow a young brother and a young sister and this kid constantly gets picked at school and you feel really bad for him and the even and it gets to the point where even the younger sister has to stand up for him she is a complete badass she is incredible like and she's actually she actually made my favorite character of the whole movie um but what happens is like literally about maybe halfway into the movie the brother gets abducted by ethan Hawke's weird creepy villain character and he constantly wears masks and then like um and the movie does a really great job at building the suspense and the whole time you're wondering how this kid is going to get out of the situation. He gets like thrown in the basement and, um, you know, he has to find a way, you know, find a way out of the situation. And that's when, um, you know, I won't tell you too much of the story there. There's, there's some interesting kind of twists and it definitely does kind of feel like a bit of a Stephen King story. When you watch it, you'll, you'll immediately get you know what I'm talking about like you can be like oh yeah there's a lot of Stephen King kind of tropes there but 
honestly, it's a really good it's it's a really good movie. Even though I know it sounds very creepy, kind of initially, you're thinking, oh, it's gonna be too dark. But trust me, watch this movie right through the end. I think you guys are gonna really like it. I think it's a very underrated movie. Um, it had a really great story, great message. Um, just definitely check it out. The acting was phenomenal. It actually took place during the 70s, so it really had that kind of um, sort of 70s charm. And there were even some really cool dream sequences that actually used this kind of like VHS kind of filming technique. And it, it looked really cool. It had a really neat style to it. So, and it's not even a very long movie either. It's about like an hour and a half or so. So you can literally knock this out in like, yeah, like a night. So, hmm. um, yeah. And even if you're not a huge fan of horror movies, yeah, it does get kind of dark, a um, little gruesome at times, but you know, I, I'd, I'd, say, I'd say still check it out. Um, it's not the most disturbing of horror movies. It's something I think you, you get, like a lot of people can get through for the most part, as long as they, they're okay with the, this kind of subject matter. But um, it, it really is a good movie, though. I, I really liked it. Black Phone, um, Ethan Hawke, very creepy. Just just check it out. So see what you guys think. And if you guys watch it, and you really, and you really whether you like it or you, whether you hate it, let me know what you think in the comments. Boom. Very nice. Thank you, Kav, as always, for that lovely review. Always <laughs> appreciated. Um, so, that's going to do it for tonight's episode of On a Couch Talking Sports. Again, want to thank our sponsors, Zion Organizing and Wes Woodson. Links in the description. I um, want to thank all of you for tuning in. Um, as always, you can find us here on YouTube. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram, and you can find us on Twitter. You should also check out our other two shows, Marvel at the Movies, which stars Doug and Kyle, um, and then obviously the Sports Blitz with Doug and I. Again, new episodes are out slash coming soon for both of those shows. So, um, hey, listen, if you want to see something, a future episode idea, anything, or just want to say hi, definitely drop us a comment. We would love to hear from you, as always. But uh, until then, that's all the time we have for this week. And obviously next week, we or next time, we cannot wait uh, to be back with you from good old Cape Cod. It's going to be it's gonna be a good one, folks, so get ready. Um, anyway, until then, he's Kyle. I'm Robbie. This is a couch. And you've been watching On a Couch Talking Sports. And we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>